Now, what are the investigations that we do? Leukopenia will be seen on complete blood count with relative lymphocytosis. Serum amylase is elevated in almost 90% of these patients, but it is non-specific. Serological testing and viral isolation can be performed. Serological testing is easy to do and this is the mainstay of diagnosis where there is some degree of clinical dilemma. The investigation of choice in serology is serum IgM against mumps virus it can be detected via ELISA. You can also do IgG antibody there will be a significant rise in the antibody titers of IgG when you do for acute and convalescent serum specimens but it will not be helpful in immediate diagnosis you need to do before and after paired sa sample need to be taken. Then all serological tests are difficult to interpret in a vaccinated child. So vaccinated child you may find erroneous results. Then we have virus, de virus detection and isolation. You can use, you can isolate the virus by using cell culture. For culture, for isolation of the virus, various specimens can be used. In an infected acute condition, you can use the salivary secretions, right? You can use the CSF in patients of uh, features of meningitis. And uh, you can also use uh, other tissues, although the other tissues will be invasive to be obtained. Then viral antigen detection can be done by direct immunofluorescence and thirdly viral nucleic acid detection can be done by PCR. The problem with PCR is PCR is positive only for about three days after the onset of perotitis. So within 72 hours of onset of perotitis if you are able to do PCR you will find PCR to be positive, otherwise it may even turn out to be negative despite the infection still being there and that is a problem with PCR and for all practical purposes, this is the one that we do in most of the cases. So, this is the, somebody asks you investigation of choice, this is the investigation of choice.